people of the interconnected web welcome back to my channel it is your girl jane and we are in my craft corner happy new year guys Woo! <laughs> confetti will be falling everywhere anyways i am super excited i know that it has been a very long time since i posted a video on here but i am coming to you from my lovely craft corner that i will be now um shooting segments on i'm so excited to introduce jane does i recently um invested in a cricut maker and then came along the press and came along another press and then came along this whole lamination and the whole craftivity area and so i'm going to be attempting random crafts with you guys and today i um wanted to Bring in the new year with the first craft i have this canvas pouch that fits my ipad pro perfectly so we're going to decorate it a little bit we're going to cut vinyl and we're going to iron it on and we're going to make it a little bit personalized so um come on guys okay so the tools that we're going to use to personalize this bag for my ipad we're going to use black vinyl we're going to use the weeding tool from cricut we're going to use green masking tape because i love it green my cricut maker my heat press and my ipad so the ipad is connected via bluetooth to my cricut maker and here we're going to control what to cut and we're going to enter design and everything like that okay so the first thing we need to do is figure out our design i really like the ray dunn font so i have ray dunn font typed into google i'm going to use fonts space because I like them. I have my name already typed out in the Ray Dunn font. I'm going to just add it to my photos and then we're going to open Cricut's design space. This is where you upload all your designs. Go to your canvas, go ahead and upload that design that we just saved and from here you're going to just remove the excess by hitting that remove button. Okay, so from here it becomes an SVG, kind of like a vector image that is going to be cut into the vinyl. And here we're going to save it as a cut image. We're going to save it as my name. And then we're just going to select it, bring it into the canvas. And then we're just going to select it, resize it in to the width of choice. So my canvas bag is actually 10 inches. So we're going to go and make it 9 inches just so it's completely filled out as full as possible actually i think i want to do eight and a half inches we're going to move it to the zero space and then now we are going to get our mat ready okay so based on the width that i selected eight and a half the height is four inches so all i need to do is make sure the vinyl that i'm going to cut fits those dimensions so what we're going to do is take the standard grip mat and we're gonna prep the vinyl okay so we are going to remove the plastic protection to prevent any debris to get stuck on this material because the mat is very sticky and then we're gonna take the vinyl and we're just gonna make sure we center it as aligned as possible now with the masking tape actually i think it's pretty secured so we're not going to need the masking tape i usually use it when my mat gets very like worn out and then it's not as sticky anymore but the standard grip this is fairly new it's still pretty sticky now we are going to get the cricket ready from here we're gonna pull it out it has some room Okay, so now that the Cricut has been pulled out, we are going to turn it on. Make sure that the fine point blade is connected. Make sure that this is secured to the mat before we put it in. We don't want it to lift up. This is actually what the tape is for, but I figured because it's pretty new and sticky that the um, vinyl should stay on pretty well. You want to have make sure that when you're dealing with an iron-on you have the back of um, The shiny part of the vinyl upside down and then you're going to Stick it into the mat 
load it and then you want to make sure that in your design space because you're dealing with an iron you want to mirror it so you want to have the shiny material on the back of the mat and then you want to make sure that your design is mirrored so now we're going to go and make sure that it's connected via bluetooth because every time you turn it on and turn it off it disconnects and then from there we are going to create we're going to continue and we want to select the material so this is going to be everyday iron on and then I wanted to cut fast because I'm very 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 impatient so we're going to do that and then I want to make sure that it weeds it's easy to weed, weed so I set the pressure to more so that it cuts all the way and then once this light starts blinking over here it loads up and then it starts to cut and it's super quick When the light starts blinking again, that means that your cut has been completed. And then you can go ahead and unload it. Okay, now we are done with the iPad. We do not need that any more. So I'm going to take off the vinyl. Put it back away. And what I like to do is try to find the area and remove the excess so that I can reuse it to where it didn't cut. Okay, so this is the bottom of the letters right here. And I just don't want to waste any vinyl. So like this amount of vinyl can be used for anything. So we're going to remove that and then on here. We're gonna find out where the J starts. Okay. And then with my paper cutter, I just go ahead and remove that. Okay, so my whole entire vinyl, my name covers this whole entire vinyl, which will fit perfectly on my mat. I mean my bag. So let's go ahead and start weeding it. have my name and then we're going to turn on the heat press and make sure that it is set to the right temperature if you're not sure what temperature your press should be at Cricut on their website has a heat guide so what you do is select the press that you have I have a Cricut press 2 what I'm going to do is choose everyday iron on or express iron on it doesn't really have an everyday oh yeah just everyday iron on and then I'm going to put cotton canvas. I'm going to be using a mat, apply, and it's going to tell me 340 degrees for 30 seconds. So what I want to do is come here and set my temperature at 340 and the time for 30. The time for 30 seconds. And then when that's ready, this light's going to turn green, it's going to beep, and then we can get started. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the mat and put it inside of the bag. I don't think it fits this way. Let's try this way. This might be better. Okay. And then we want to put this on exactly where you like it or I like it because it's for me not you <laughs> um, and then we're gonna take the press 
And we're only going to do half of it first because my heat press isn't the size to completely cover this. And then we're going to hit the green button and we're going to wait for the timer to go off. And you just hold it in place. It's really important that you have the press set to the correct temperature because temperature really, really matters on how well you want these vinyls to stay on and how long it would last. So you want to make sure you have the right temperature set. Let it cool off a little bit. It's a little bit smoky. Okay, so when you feel like it has cooled down a bit, you want to start going ahead and peeling it off. And there you have it, guys. My own DIY rate done canvas bag. And the best part is it fits my iPad Pro with the Magic Keyboard perfectly. You guys know, as a digital artist, you know, a travel, a travel vlogger slash digital artist slash photographer. I am nothing without my iPad. So having this cute bag is going to be so convenient and it fits perfectly. All right, I just, ah, isn't it so cute? You guys, I really had fun doing this craftivity with you guys. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I'm an expert crafter, expert on my cricket, expert everything. I'm not. I am. Everything is completely experimental. Um, everything, there's going to be some fails. There's going to be some successes. But it's going to be a fun. And I can't wait to start this journey with you guys. Being completely grounded all year has been really rough for me. So being able to actually find my passion for crafting and um, arts and craft has been absolutely amazing. And I am so excited to share it with you guys. And um, yeah, since you're already here, make sure you like, subscribe, share. I'll I'll try to post more like travel related stuff for sure. Um, but the main thing is you guys don't forget to keep up with what Jane does. Bye guys.